friends, it's Jasmine. So I realized I didn't really make an intro for this video. So I just wanted to say hi, how are you? I hope that you're doing well. If you're new to my channel, my name is Jasmine. I am a witchy creator on multiple different platforms. You can find all my links down below. Thank you for clicking on this video. And if you like what you see, you should subscribe, hit the bell, get notifications, all of that. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. Your support really means the world to me. Okay, so I have some exciting news. If you are watching this on Patreon, this is kind of like an early sort of release thing that you'll be notified of. If you are watching this on YouTube, this video is from the past, right? Because all my videos go to Patreon first. I'm going to have a live stream with my editor where we're going to talk about this in more depth. So if you're seeing this video, you can go check out that live stream and get everything in depth. But I'm going to talk a little bit about it in this vlog because it's something that's happening now as I'm filming this. So I've recently released my first book, Ambrosia's Book of Witch Flight. I've talked about it in the vlog. I've been sharing a lot about it. I'm really excited about it. And in the process of self-publishing this with the help of my editor, she had kind of suggested to me that I take the spirit codex from the book and possibly expand upon it and make it its own book, which I think is a really cool idea. And I definitely want to do that. I think that's going to be like my next um, academic sort of pursuit in terms of like what I want to do next as far as like book writing and stuff. So in Ambrosia's Book of Witch Flight, which was published, I think, August 2nd of 2022. It's a first harvest baby. The book link on Amazon will be listed down below in the description of this video if you wanna go check it out and support my work. Um, but in the book, it's kind of like three little mini books all pushed together to make the book. You have my gnosis and my theories about the other world and the places in the other world and journal entries. And then you also have a spirit codex or the Liber Spiritos, which is Ambrosia's like my personal book of spirits. And then you also have a section on recipes and rituals. The spirit codex outlines 86 spirits in sort of a grimoire um, format. So you have attributes and characteristics and correspondences there. I think that that would be a really cool idea to expand on some of the correspondences, to add a little bit more dimension to those spirits. All of the spirits in my book are spirits that either A, I have personally worked with as familiar spirits, B, spirits that I've just met in the other world or encountered in the other world, had conversations with in the other world, but were not necessarily working partners. Or C, they're spirits that I've heard about, but I've not necessarily had encounters with them in depth myself. And so I think, and my editor thinks, it would be really, really cool to kind of turn the extended version of the book into a little bit of a community um, collaboration where we are going to accept submissions from people that might be interested. I think it would be really cool to kind of open the other world up through a sense of witches working on one collaborative intention of exploring the other world and mapping the other world out and these spirits out. And I feel like I was nervous when I first published Ambrosia's Book of Witch Flight because so much of it is my own UPG. And I know that works of UPG can be very popular um, or they can kind of be shunned. Um, I think that there should be more UPG out there that's accessible. A big part of Witch Flight is, you know, pulling your spirit from your body, traveling the other worlds. Some people might call that astral projection. And there's a ton of books out there about that sort of practice. It's not exclusive to my practice. There's a lot of practices that include, you know, astral travel, shamanic journeying, um, astral projection, witch flight, whatever we want to call this. Um, so it's not individual and exclusive to me, but there's a lot of works out there about how to do this. There's not a lot of works out there about, okay, once you do, you know, pull your spirit from your body, or once you are in the other world, then what? So that's one of the main reasons why I was so pushed to write this book, of course, with the help of one of my familiar spirits, 
which I talk about in the book as well. But I feel like the UPG that is surrounding the 86 spirits could kind of take on a bit of a life of its own if other people also decide upon themselves that they would like to send in submissions for this book. So I'm kind of asking anyone who might be interested if you would like to help sort of this next project come to life and if you would like to be a part of that, I would love to hear your experiences in the other world. Feeling the kingdoms of Asalia or Grydel, Mitnir, Dokar, experiencing the hollowed woods or the wilds in the north, experiencing the eastern realm or the chaos that lies in the south. I think it'd be really world building. I think it would be a really fun creative project and specifically with the intention of meeting some of these spirits or working with some of these spirits in the other world. So there's going to be like a full detailed form in the description of this video that will kind of outline more specifically um, what we're looking for. But I'm planning to kind of start taking submissions now, um, which is like end of August, beginning of September, and then we're going to stop taking submissions the end of January. The goal is, the goal is that we start kind of compiling this like late winter, early spring, and we'll kind of go from there. We're shooting for maybe like a release date for this next project, maybe like late summer, early fall of 2024. Now, if you send a submission, we are looking for like a minimum of like 30 words or so. So that's about like a paragraph-ish, but we do have a maximum word count of like 750, which is maybe about three pages or so. So we're kind of looking for anything in between there. If you want to write 45 words, write 45 words. Also, it's definitely encouraged that if you would like to send in a submission about multiple of the spirits, that's totally fine too. Um, if you're not sure which spirit you would like to attempt to interact with and bring to life through an entry submission, I recommend doing a little bit of bibliomancy with the codex where you just kind of go to a random page, open it up, and pull yourself a spirit. And if you, you know, get a spirit that you're like, I don't know if I really want to interact with that or meet that, or I don't know if my vibes match that vibe or if that's really what I'm trying to do, that's totally fine too. You can pull another one. But if you want to, you know, send a submission about one spirit, or if you want to send in a submission about seven or 10 spirits, totally fine. Um, just send in the submissions regarding the other world and the spirits from the codex in this book. Um, and you have creative liberty. Like I'm excited just to hear what other people feel and sense and get from this work. And I'm hoping that this will kind of coalesce into more of a collaborative living sort of tangible practice amongst witches practicing right now. I plan to also film a video like interview with the editor where I'm gonna have her and I kind of talk about the behind the scenes of this project and what it was like for us self-publishing this book because neither of us have ever done this before. And um, yeah, I plan on filming that. And then also we plan on doing a live stream where we talk about this new project where we're looking and we're kind of making a witch call out to the witches and the sorceresses and the sorcerers, magicians, whatever. Um, the hedge walkers, right? Like we're calling out for you to take flight with us and birthing this next project. So again, it'll be talked about in more depth. And if you have questions, you can join that live stream. Or if you're watching this in the future, if you have questions, you can leave them down below in the comment section of that live stream. Um, and yeah, if you're interested in checking out the form, again, the link for that and the link for the book will be down in the description bar down below. So I recently got back from our SCC Witches Retreat. I posted like a short little video with just like some highlights from the retreat. And I'll probably like include some in this vlog as well. I definitely have a haul coming soon um, with stuff to show you that I've gotten recently. Um, they have all of their lovely Halloween stuff out at Michael's and we've been to Michael's, but I still wanna go to Spirit Halloween love Spirit Halloween. If you don't have a Spirit Halloween near you, they do sell online all year long. I'm not sure 
about like other countries outside of the US, but they have some really cool stuff. Um, you know, Halloween stuff like can be really campy, which I do live for the camp, but also you can find like really cool sort of just like witchy decor or some really nice altar pieces even sometimes. I wanna go to Spirit Halloween. I haven't done that yet, but I wanted just to kind of like catch up with you guys because I haven't really made any videos um, in a little while. I've been really busy. I've been really preoccupied, but by the time you're seeing this video, you know that I just released my first book. <music> Ambrosia's book of witch flight right here which the emotions I feel actually holding this book in my hand <sighs> this was such a process to self-publish and I've never done it before and like I just feel such a mix of emotions about it like I'm excited and I'm really happy and I'm really fucking proud of myself but I also feel sort of a weird sense of like imposter syndrome about it because like who am I to be writing a book um and also like I want to feel proud of my accomplishments but there's this voice in the back of my head that's like Nay. Nay, don't be too proud, girl. So, I don't know. But I'm happy, and I'm proud. And um, I'm going to find a way to celebrate this accomplishment, because I do see it as an accomplishment. Um, you know, there were many nights where I would talk with my friends about some of what I was writing, and ask their thoughts on it, and kind of like rack my brain and lose sleep over getting this book published. Um, I also kind of co-authored this book with a familiar spirit of mine, so that kind of adds a little bit of a layer of complexity to it, because I wanted to make sure that I was honoring my pact with the spirit um, that I write about in this book, and that I was really bringing an authentic lens to this work um and it just it means a lot to me and i'm just gagged that i actually did it this book is available on amazon i will link it in the description down below um and then i have had a few people reach out to me inquiring about signed copies i do have some author copies and i plan on going to the post office like later this week as i'm filming this just to kind of see like how much shipping would be um i don't have an exact price yet on like what a signed copy would look like but if you are interested in a signed copy i can't guarantee that i'm going to be able to fulfill that um but if you're interested send me a message on instagram my link is also kind of down below in the description and i'll see maybe if i can work something out like i said i haven't been to the post office yet so i want to go there and see how much shipping the book is going to cost um because I really want to try to keep things as like economical as possible. Hey, I'm getting ready to go meet up with my friend for her birthday. And so I'm very excited about that. I have her little gift back here. And so I'll probably throw in some clips from like the birthday as well. Also, I went to a hot pot recently, which I've never been to a hot pot before. It's essentially like this whole buffet of like raw food and you get like a pot of broth and you cook the food yourself in the pot. I've never been to one before and it was really, really fun. I'll throw in some clips of that as well. I hope that you all have been well. Um, I've definitely missed you. I'm sorry that I've kind of been like busy and just preoccupied. I do love making YouTube videos and I do definitely plan to make YouTube videos continuously in the future like I'm not going anywhere but your girl's just been real busy real busy um and hopefully I will have a Daughters of Cain soon with my lovely co-host Astradia and maybe we can like do a little bit of a deep dive into some of this because I'm just excited to discuss it with you guys if you know me, you know how hard it is for me to shut my fucking mouth sometimes. And so not being able to talk about some of this for almost a year has been crushing me. But we're at a point now where I can. So let me know if you'd be interested in like a Daughters of Cain stream. Um, and then also... I kind of want to do like a witchy challenge for the end of October. It's not completely fleshed out yet. So I won't 
necessarily talk on that now, but I think it would be fun to do like another community witchy challenge the last week of October. And so I'm kind of piecing that together in my mind now of like what that would look like. But I think it'd be cool to do like sort of a daily activity or a daily challenge that last week of October, kind of touching on ancestor veneration and um, the witch blood and magic and the craft and, um, you know, maybe add like a little bit of a devilish twist to it. You know, I love to subvert things. So I'm just kind of like reflecting on that and planning something for that. But yeah, I'll see you guys later. I don't know what that was. <laughs> This is from Rennie and I. This is a cute little spooky print. It's just the coffin box. We went to Michael's and we found them. And you know, you can never have enough coffin boxes, but. It's your birthday. Shut up. It's your birthday. This is just like a cute little book of like herb magic and stuff. Instead of just like a half blush, but it'd be 